What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be running right now in Warzone 3. But today, we're focusing on snipers and sniper support. And get ready, because this is going to be a banger. Oh my goodness! We're turning SMGs into ARs and ARs into SMGs. And we're rocking all four one-shot snipers for you today and giving you the loadouts for all of them. Let's get into it. Let's go, baby! For this first set of loadouts, we turn the Striker 9 into a longer range weapon, more mid range than anything. And that's what sniper support really is. And it can still be used close range as well. And then we're running the FJX Imperium Sniper, which I know a lot of people love, but I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of this sniper. It seemed real inconsistent for me. And I think there's just a better option when you want all around ADS speed and just overall consistency one shot sniping. And one of the problems is with this FJX and we're also doing the MCPR 300. The problem is you have to have a specific type of ammo and that's going to be the explosive ammo but some people like that some people don't so i'm not going to hold back of giving you the loadout just because i don't like it because everyone has their own play style and this could be the right build for you but the striker nine huge fan of for the striker nine we're going with the jack bfb muzzle the striker elite long barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 50 round drum and the choreo eagles eye 2.5 times scope now the thing about this jack bfb usually on smgs i don't like putting the jack bfb on here strictly because of the lack of bullet velocity they got a minus like 20 percent in bullet velocity here and i'm minus 18 percent. and so with an smg that usually decreases the tck quite a bit and which you, you don't really want but in this case for a mid-range build it's really really solid and really controls that recoil for the striker nine very well if you don't want to go with the jack bfb go with the sonic suppressor s muzzle oh, i'm dead. dead just can't mantle it's super fun Then for this FJX Imperium, we're gonna go with the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor. You can go with the Sonic Suppressor L, but you're gonna lose a lot of, a uh, little bit more sprint to fire speed. You know, I don't know. It, it depends on what you like here. You could go with the Sonic Suppressor L, which is very st still very solid. Completely up to you there, but I went with the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor. It's really up to you. Then we went with the Chimera Laser Light. Then again, you have to have the explosive ammo on here for it to one shot, which sucks because it's like a minus 50% bullet velocity, dude. It just increases the damage range, but I mean, you really have to lead your shots with this thing and i'm just not as good with this sniper as i am with these other ones then we're rocking the akalina lr stock optic for some reason this reticle it really looks like the old car 98 but on other snipers it doesn't look like this and i'm not sure why but again this is a very solid sight to use i i love this sight reminds me of the old school car 98 use whatever sight makes you comfortable there though now i'm rocking the fjx blast which increases that fire rate quite a bit That's down. He's down now. Almost down. For this next set of loadouts, we've got the AMR9 for sniper support and the one-shot MCPR. Now, the one-shot MCPR felt a lot more consistent than the FGX. Not sure what it is for me, but the MCPR felt a lot more consistent, which you'll see in the gameplay, the real quick gameplay, but the gameplay. And then we're rocking the AMR9, like I said, which is so, so good. The Sonic Suppressor S muzzle for the AMR9, the AMR9 Enforcer Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the Corio Eagle Side 2.5 times Scope, and then I put on this 100-round drum just to be annoying and to provide a little bit more support for the sniper. And attack Catching this 100 round drum kind of made up for some spots when the MCPR really didn't hit for me at some ranges. So this 100 round drum kind of helped out a lot. Oh, guys just landed on you. I got him, I gotta go. Then for the MCPR 300, we are rocking the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor L, the 22 inch OMX 456 barrel. Again, you have to have the explosive rounds on here, but the explosive rounds felt a lot better than they did on the FJX. Probably because maybe the base bullet velocity for the MCPR is a little bit better. Completely, I have no idea, but that might be the case. Then I rock the SL Razor Hawk Laser Light, which has the best ADS speed and spread to fire speed benefits for a sniper. And then I rock the Cronin Cheetah Grip here, Cronin Smooth Bolt, which will increase the ring chambering speed. But uh, I I really enjoyed using the Chrono Cheetah grip here. Uh, just really helped that sprint to fire speed quite a bit. But if you enjoyed this loadout, let me know. I really enjoyed this MCPR 300. Help. Copy. Well, that guy's down. Just He's down. Wow. Okay. Oh, watch out for the guy floating here. Yeah. MCPR is so much better than the FJX. Lots of people down here. One down. 
Another one behind him. Finished. Dead. Yeah. Then for this next set of loadouts, I ran with the Striker as an AR or sniper support with the Cat AMR. And then I also ran the BP-50 as a sniper support, which is just both of them are absolute beams. Really love both of these. These are honestly my second choice when it comes to any kind of uh, sniper support weapons. So the BP-50 and the Striker as mid-range builds and uh, sniper support builds just are so, so fun to run. For the Striker AR, we went with the Sonic Suppressor S muzzle, the Striker Elite Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support grip under barrel the choreo eagle's eye 2.5 times scope and the 60 round drum oh what's going on here oh okay stay it's two down right there for this BP-50 sniper support, we're running the VT-7 Spearfire Suppressor. I like the Chimera Ryan 03 vertical grip here, strictly because it doesn't decrease the ADS speed quite as much as the Bruin Heavy support grip. You can also run the DR-6 handstop underbarrel, which is very fun to run as well. Doesn't affect your recoil control at all. So completely up to you there, but I like the recoil control benefits of the Chimera right here. But again, completely up to you. Either three of these options are fantastic. Then I'm rocking the high grain rounds here for a little bit more damage in TTK. I'm rocking the 45 round mag because you really do need the 45 round mag on here. And I like the MK3 reflector sight. I'm, I'm really beginning to like this sight a little bit more than like the slate reflector or the NIDAR. But use whatever sight makes you comfortable. I'm done. Oh, yeah, I got him. One. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. There go. Jeez. Then I rock these two with a cat AMR sniper, which is the number two overall sniper in my opinion. It's just, again, consistency. Consistency is key when it comes to sniping, in my opinion. And the cat AMR really provides that consistency. The same as my number one sniper, which we're about to talk about. But cat AMR just a little bit slower. So for, for surgeons, it's definitely okay. And then for, for big map two, fantastic. For the cat AMR, we ran the Sonic Suppressor XL muzzle, the Zang 34 barrel, the SL Razorhawk laser light. I like the high velocity ammo here. Definitely can one shot with a high velocity the ammo you can also run the high grain rounds here as well completely up to you yeah the spire point rounds did get a quite a bit of a nerf y'all and the effective damage range and minimum damage range aren't as high as the high grain rounds and then high velocity does one shot but it gives you five percent more bullet velocity which is kind of what you need with a sniper rifle so run the high grain or run the high velocity whichever is uh more comfortable to you the sniper's a little bit slower so i like to run the ephemeral quick bolt to really increase that fire rate and rechambering speed Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, down that guy too. One down, one on. Oh my. He's down. I got him. Uh, down him again. Uh, he goes down again. Look at it. He did it again. Oh. Down two. Oh, he's trying to snipe me. That's cute. No way. He's looking at us again. He's down. Now, for this last set of loadouts, this is the best sniper support you can be running right now, period, hands down. Nobody can convince me otherwise. I can't be convinced. And I'll tell you why. This WSP-9 has the same damage output as the MTZ-762 battle rifle. You have a battle rifle that's basically an SMG. So you're getting all the benefits of that battle rifle put into an SMG, which is faster, more reliable, and just overall better to use, especially in like a resurgence mode. It's almost unstoppable. I'm still around, huh?
Let's go, baby. And then I paired this with the best sniper overall, hands down. Again, you can't convince me otherwise on this. The XRK Stalker. It's so good, man. It's just so good. It's so consistent. It's so much faster than the Cat AMR, like I said. And it can one shot without having a special ammo up to 50.8 meters. That's a beautiful thing when it comes to resurgence and provides so much more consistency across all the snipers in the game. So for this Stalker, we went with the Sonic Suppressor XL muzzle, the Fission 60 barrel, the high grain rounds, the XR Stalker light bolt, which does increase that firing rate and rechambering speed. And I ran this with no stock. You can take this no stock off if you want. If you want it to be a little bit slower, maybe put on a different site if you want. But man, this felt so good. And you're going to see it in the gameplay. Paired up with this WSP9 mid range build, honestly, and it's a long range build as well. I feel like it's unstoppable. Oh, wow. Wow. Jeez. Oh, if you guys enjoyed these loadouts, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these. We'll see you in the next one.